we are in the Model X Panda, our AI4 Texas Early Access Program vehicle. It got it before my Model 3, so the wife is in the Model 3, and I'm with the big body Model X. We are headed to the athletic field to get some uh, accelerated steps in, so to speak. We left Chewbacca back at the crib uh, so I can focus on me. And yeah, it is Wednesday, May 14th, 2025, uh, about 20 minutes to 7. So we're going to see how our AI student driver in version 13.2.9 gets us to uh, <laughs> this athletic field. We got approximately 12 minutes before we get there. Back roads, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing this uh, quite a bit uh, for the foreseeable future. I just, I don't know feel pretty good out there trying to reclaim my athleticism see how see how that goes but other than that we're on chill mode I still need to adjust the settings it's like I should be able to do this from the app like all the settings in the car I want to be able to manage in the app because when you're in the car you just want to drive and when you get to your destination you just want to get out you really don't want to fiddle with the settings you know, right before you're about to go somewhere or right after you get somewhere. And every time you start the car back up <laughs> and press the button, you're like, I forgot to change the settings. So no big deal, we'll figure that out. We'll get that taken care of. But it would be so nice if all of that was, uh, my profile settings were controlled via the, the app. It would be really, really nice. Anyway. Stock market is up. We uh, I think we broached 350 today, so that was pretty cool. Another positive gain day. Waiting for uh, TSLA to go red eventually. I will continue to buy if we have a significant red day of uh, 4% or more. That's my that's my mode. Every time we have a 4% drop of some sort, I, I purchase a couple of shares of Tesla uh, or make some calls. You know, I made some calls. Uh, when TSLA got down to about 240 ish, 250, uh, you know, I didn't make a whole lot, but I made something, right? So that's that's always the goal is to try to get something of a hundred percent gain for the time period that I make that particular bet, because that's all it is is betting whether or not the stock market is going to be favorable for TSLA that day. That, that durate three weeks, a month, whatever it is, right? So if you uh, guess wrong, you could lose $800, $900. You guess right, you could make a couple of grand. It's, <laughs> it's what you, uh, you know, it's what you sign up for. Easily, I could drop it and make, you know, get two or three shares of Tesla, get the standard rate of returns as the stock continues to rise, but you know, when you're using leverage plays or even leverage calls, woof, woof, things get a little, little quick uh, gratification. You know, you get that casino buzz, if you will. So, but as of right now, we're doing pretty good. School is still in session down here in Southeast Texas. We got about a couple more weeks for at least most of the schools all the way up until the end of May. Uh, to, to you know let summer do its thing got got some trips planned or at least you know some makeshift trips planned to Austin uh, for the summer whether that be June July looking forward to having a autonomous robo taxi fare in the you know I think I'm a commemorate that 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 is going to be one epic milestone tesla's first few thousand miles of driverless and getting paid for it in the in the same at the same time can't wait to see that spread all over the great state of texas uh, hopefully it's going to be cheaper than your average uber or waymo and that's i think that's what'll 
kickstart it. People are going to be like, wait a minute, you can buy this? I can own this? I don't have to, you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be this duality of, you know, do I want this vehicle robot agent under my employee, so to speak, is how people are going to view this, how people are going to see this, so... It's been a long time since I've been in the Model X. It, it kind of feels a little too spacious. You get, you definitely notice the difference between the 3 and Y X and, and the premium vehicles such as the X Y uh, <laughs> X S and Cybertruck. Sorry, so relaxing. But yeah, we're supposed to be 35 miles an hour back here, but we're going a solid 45. I think it's really what people expect back here, as long as you're being safe. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going 35, to say the least. So I'm not tripping, but I will reduce the speed offset at least by half. At least by half. That might prove a little too slow, but we'll we'll put it there and then and work our way back up as need be. Tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, I don't know. Is, is Tesla just going to be positive for the rest of the week? That's kind of hard to fathom, right? It's been a long time since I've hit the buy button for some shares of TSLA. You know, it's been about a, almost a week. I guess that's a good thing. We got some traffic, some mild traffic. The combination of the stop sign and this light and the series of lights on this road. We're gonna be here in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. So to start some idle, <laughs> idle chit chat, let's see, what, what, what can we talk about? Um, yeah, we're just shooting the shit now i mean we can go through the the gambit of, of tesla stuff uh elon musk over there in saudi arabia with some of the the biggest tech giants and world leaders out there doing their thing talking about robo taxis in the kingdom you know a humanoid robot for every human on the planet you know what i mean things a little pie in the sky type stuff things that make you feel good when you're talking about the future, uh, this was kind of a ridiculous move by this Chrysler van here. But sometimes you just gotta put your balls out there, you know what I mean? Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Optimus doing doing dances you know better than most humans <laughs> this robot's got rhythm folks um and there's nothing outside of the box you see robots from other companies uh dancing and showcasing you know what what their robot mobility could look like and the the main difference when i see tesla even in the same sphere is their manufacturing prowess i don't you know they're the ones that are going to be able to build the robot's body you know cheaper more efficiently than anybody else and then when you're talking about i mean we're experiencing brains as we speak me using fsd right it's not apples to apples but it's a great foundation for our AI team when you're talking about um, a robot moving in the physical world, much like our AI student driver is moving around through the physical, you see what it sees. And you can only imagine putting this robot's brain, this vehicle robot's brain, instead of being on four wheels, putting it on two legs and teaching it things on how to interact, you know, take directions, all this stuff 
It's a little more complex than what we've got going on here with FSD. I mean, to say the least. But when you're talking about which company do I think is going to be able to make a brain that not only can function in the real world, I it's it's hard to say that it won't be Tesla. You know, because I'm experiencing it firsthand. I'm, I'm, maybe maybe these other companies will partner and get some some other company that's working on the software portion to meet their hardware i don't i don't know all i know is tesla is going to be able to do it all at the same time much like they do with their vehicles the collaboration the vertical integration between departments i it, i experience it every single time i get in the vehicle that i know i don't want to go back to fred flintstone's car that's, that's, that's what I call internal combustion engines, ladies and gentlemen. They're either horse and buggies, or I imagine F Fred Flintstone in those cars kicking up his heels to make them move. That's what it looks like to me. So, my faith and my nest egg, I mean, I have a significant amount of shares in Tesla simply because of what I've experienced, right? I, You could... You can invest or, or buy the products based on what Elon says or, you know, what you hoped. I buy this stuff for what it can do today. I won't buy another vehicle that doesn't have FSD. Even if FSD, even if FSD doesn't get any better ever, I still won't buy anything else. So, you know, if it improves, which I fully expect it to do, if it improves over time, that's a win-win as a consumer as a as an investor you know i have uh the utmost confidence that it will improve as this individual is on her phone at this mild red light light has turned green i wonder if she's finished her text message anyway with fsd you won't have to worry about people being distracted like that I gotta send this text in the middle of traffic. Um, that becomes a thing of the past. We can kind of erase fender benders of that magnitude. You know, that could potentially lead to something a little more catastrophic, depending on the situations, right? So that's what I look forward to the most. And every time I use FSD, I feel we get closer and closer with each update, even the point releases. <laughs> despite um, the car is already performing brilliantly, but most of my time is spent in the Model 3. The Model X is obviously a bigger vehicle, uh, so it's kind of got some measurements. I'd imagine that it has to take into account, especially when we're taking turns, going towards medians and things of that nature. It's amazing, it's quite amazing what Tesla and, uh, you know, Cybertruck is getting 13.2.9. It's a very, very huge vehicle. So my confidence in Tesla grows with each passing day. So With the exception of some navigational issues, right? I don't know. Like, what <laughs> our navigation uh, data, it updated to something that is really weird around my house. So other than that, my rides are essentially flawless. And I kinda would be surprised if there was an issue outside of something navigational or like the last 100 feet so to speak so i look forward to when they're able to disable the cabin camera even if it's for certain segments of of a navigated ride right i mean this thing will still put fsd on even if you don't have a destination input 
but maybe, just maybe, like if you have a destination, whether it be Smoothie King or, you know, 24 hour fitness, whatever it may be, uh, depending on the navigation data, the end destination and whatnot will give you options for what you would like to do. I, I There are so many ways to see how this would turn into a consumer facing product. So I look forward to it. Every update is an adventure. And I, I haven't had a product that made me this excited. I don't know, since the, since the iPhone, honestly. Um, and even then, the iPhone is like a, it pales in comparison to what these vehicles represent for me, so. Technically, this is our destination.